Hey what's up guys, OSJ here with another Patreon request and this time it's the top 10 Dizzy games in order of greatness. As I'm not a massive Dizzy fan, this was a bit difficult for me, but with the help from a top bloke called 25 Clansman, I have put together a list that I hope satisfies the Patreon request from Steve Patterson. Anyway, love them or hate them, Dizzy games were everywhere when we were younger and most people will have played at least one of these in their lives. So without more delay, let's take a look at the 10 best Dizzy games including what system they were best on in order of greatness. Kicking us off in 10th place we have Fantastic Dizzy on the Master System. This game was a departure from the traditional Dizzy gameplay with more of an emphasis on puzzle solving. However, it still managed to capture the charm of the series and provide a unique and enjoyable experience for players. Next up in 9th place we have Spellbound Dizzy on the ZX Spectrum. This game was notable for its impressive graphics and challenging gameplay, as well as its memorable storyline where Dizzy had to collect various items to save his friends. This one was one where people either love or hated, especially with the fall damage. Coming in at number 8 it's Crystal Kingdom Dizzy on the C64. This game was a fan favourite amongst Dizzy enthusiasts. Although this is on my system I had never played this back in the day, so playing this has been like playing a new game to me. The recent remake in 2017 on the Spectrum is stunning and shows how it could have been done with a bit more effort. At number 7 we have Fast Food on the Amstrad CPC. This game featured a unique storyline where Dizzy had to deliver fast food to various characters throughout the game world. It was a fun and quirky addition to the series. Halfway through our list we have Quick Snacks on the ZX Spectrum in 6. This game was a spin off from the original Dizzy series and was a totally different gameplay style but still managed to capture that Dizzy feel to the game and even if you didn't like the Dizzy platform games this was worth a play. Number 5 we have Dizzy, Prince of the York Folk on the ZX Spectrum. The usual thing, Specky beats the CPC by having almost twice as many colours and the C64 version really falls down here. It runs too fast and feels really twitchy, making it stupidly difficult and annoying to play.
Coming in at number 4 is Dizzy, the ultimate cartoon adventure on the ZX Spectrum. This game was the first of the series and is still a classic, featuring challenging puzzles and whimsical storyline that has stood the test of time. Taking the bronze medal is Treasure Island Dizzy on the ZX Spectrum. This is actually the only Dizzy game I ever completed on the C64. The Spectrum version however takes the prize for the best version of this game. It seems as if there was ever a system that summed Dizzy games up then it was the Specky. At number 2 we have Magic Land Dizzy on the ZX Spectrum. This game was a masterpiece with its impressive graphics and sprawling game world that kept players engaged for hours on end. By now though the saving friends and danger story had become a bit tired, who would actually want to be friends with Dizzy? And finally, the top spot on our list is Fantasy World Dizzy on the ZX Spectrum. This was the fourth game release starring Dizzy. With challenging puzzles, memorable gameplay mechanics and charming storyline, Fantasy World Dizzy has stood the test of time and towers over all other Dizzy games. Ok that's it for this video, it's been a weird one as up to a few months ago I had only played one Dizzy game that I can really remember. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what your favourite Dizzy games are and what systems they were on. Please remember to drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Oh, and if you would like to become a Patreon like these York folk going up the screen right now, get on over to my Patreon channel where pledging starts at just $1 and you get perks like your name in the end credits, video requests, giveaways and more in the future. Till next time, this is OSG signing out.